Today is Saturday of the first week in ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the church, followed by the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the Son of Mary. Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the, the Son of Mary. Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He, he made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the, the Son of Mary. Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the, the Son of Mary. Mary. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the, Son the Son of Mary. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the Son of Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Please be seated. Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who hear me and justly draw near, they are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. I will sing to the Lord, for he is glorious triumphant. Hosts and chariots he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. At a breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall despoil them. When your wind blew, the sea covered them like let that sank in the mighty waters. Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you, magnificent in holiness, or terrible in renown, worker of wonders? When you stretched out your right hand, the earth sold them. In your mercy you led the people you redeemed. In your strength you guided them to your holy dwelling. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O praise the Lord, all you nations. O praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us, 
He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. When the designated time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who were subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. Please stand. After the birth of your son, you remained a virgin. After, After the, the birth, birth of, of your, your son, son, you, you remain the virgin. Mother of God, intercede for us. You, you remain, remain the virgin. virgin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. After, After the, the birth, birth of your son, you remain the virgin. virgin. You are the glory of Jerusalem, the joy of Israel. You are the fairest honor of our race. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to and to guide our, our feet into the, the way, way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are the glory of Jerusalem, the joy of Israel. You are the fairest honor of our race. Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you chose Mary as the uncorruptible ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the from corruption of sin. We pray. May your mother, mother intercede, intercede for us, Lord. Lord. Savior of mankind, your mother stood at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we may rejoice to share in your passion. We pray. May, may your mother, mother intercede, intercede for us, Lord. Lord. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Ruma Biara Santo Dominicus and Ruma Biara Thomas Aquinas, Indonesia, St. Dominic Sri Lanka, St. Antoninus, General Santos, Kamigin, and Kalayan. We pray. May, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray. May, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. With ultimate generosity and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons of so noble a mother. We pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord. Now let us offer together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, give to your people the joy of continual health in mind and body. With the prayers of the Virgin Mary to help us, guide us through the sorrows of this life to eternal happiness in the life to come. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Please stand for the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call to mind our sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Altogether, I confess, confess to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done. done and in, in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in the unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. 
The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please stand. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alpheus, sitting at the custom post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I do not come to the call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Most of the time, we are asked what kind of personality you have as a person. At madalas, tinatanong din, anong klaseng personality meron ka? A leader or a follower? I don't know kung kayo ba alam nyo. How do you see yourself? Ano ba nakita nyo sa sarili nyo? A leader or a follower? In today's Gospel, we also see two personalities. Jesus, the leader, and Matthew, the follower. And obviously, obviously, it is Jesus calling Matthew to follow him. Kaya tanong, alin ba mas madali? Ang sumunod o yung magsabing sumunod ka? Sige nga, ang kayo papipiliin. Saan yung mas nakikita ang sarili nyo? Sa personality ni Jesus na nagsabing, sumunod kayo sa akin. O yung personalidad ni Mateo na kusang susunod. And indeed, what happened in the story eventually, Matthew followed Jesus. Sumunod siya. But more than anything else, my dear friends, is there is something so important in today's gospel it is actually about the value of obedience it's the value of obedience and you will see how important it is in our life makikita nyo po si Mateo ay isang taong hindi po tagasunod ni Kristo si Mateo po ay isang taong walang pananampalataya but look at the approach of Jesus he simply started with the value of obedience. Anong nais na iparating nito sa atin? Pinaparating nito sa atin na sa pananampalataya, mga kapatid, one essential element or component is obedience. Ang pagsunod. Without obedience, 
you will not be able to establish your own faith. Without obedience, then faith is useless. There is no faith unless you are obedient. And this is exactly what happened in the life of Matthew. Nagsimula sa pagpananampalataya. At mismo si Kristo, yun ang tinutumbok niya sa buhay ni Mateo. Nais niya ang taong ito magkaroon ng pananampalataya. And he started it with obedience. Ito lang ang simple yung paalala sa ating lahat. Kumusta ba yung ating pagsunod? How is our obedience? Sino ang ating sinusunod? Buo pa ang ating pagsunod? Tunay ba ang ating pagsunod? Totoo ba? Ano ba ang ating pagsunod? Ito ba ay pakitang tao lamang? Ito ba ay kaplastikan lamang? Ito ba ay dahil meron tayong inaasahang kapalit? Kumusta ba ang ating pagsunod sa buhay bilang mga katoliko? Ano ba ang inaasahan natin? Ano ba ang motivation natin sa pagsunod? Ito pa ay pag-alay ng ating buhay sa Diyos? O baka naman tayo sumusunod dahil may inaasahang kapalit mula sa Diyos? In the story of Matthew, it's very clear. He followed Jesus. But take note, when he followed, he gave up everything. When he followed, wala siyang inaasahang kapalit. And this is a good example that we can imitate in our own form of obedience. Kumusta ba ang obedience natin? Marahil maring itong magandang hamon sa mga kabataan. Kaya mga magulang na narito, sana po, if you want to form your kids, if you want to form your children, then begin with obedience. Accommodation is never a form, a way of formation. Do not accommodate all the time your children kung anong gusto nila ibibigay. Because accommodation is never a form of formation. Let them learn how to obey. Sapagkat ang batang marunong sumunod, din sunod-sunod na po ang tamang paghula nito. Kaya, kaya po ako, I am, my ministry is in the formation. I am with, my, with our seminarians. And I am always reminded, never accommodate all the time their needs. Kung anong gusto nila, Father, gusto namin ng ice cream, bigay agad. Father, gusto namin ng punta dito, punta agad. No. My higher authority will always remind me, obedience is the most important of all. Learn them to obey first. Kaya kapwede sa inyong mga anak, sa inyong mga, mga kabataan, let them learn the value of obedience. Because if they have that sense of obedience, then definitely susunod ang pananam palataya. So again, my dear friends, the story talks about Matthew and something that we can learn from him, from his story. It all began with obedience. Please stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. And with humility of spirit, aware of, all, of His call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
The other church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That consecrated persons like Mary may dedicate their whole lives to God and to their church through their witness of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Rumah Biara Santo Dominicus and Rumah Biara Thomas Aquinas, Indonesia, St. Dominic, Sri Lanka, St. Antonius General Santos, Kamigin, and Kalayan. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them an understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make this prayer to the Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may their friends, at my sacrifice and yours, May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise the mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we commemorate the memory of Blessed Virgin Mary. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation. And through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Holy Soul kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Palala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng kumunyon. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng kumunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isusubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostya upang maiwasan ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of her redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We shall now do the, the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Alalahanin po natin ang ating mga kakilala, mahal sa buhay, na nangangailangan po na mapanalangin sa paggaling. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness 
and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May it be a blessing for some other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.